Assalamu alaikum my brothers and sisters. Welcome back to Sages of Islam. Today I'm going to blow your mind with the story of a man who literally changed how humanity calculates, navigates, and understands the world. A mathematical genius whose name you use every single day without even realizing it. We're talking about algorithms, algebra, and the very numbers you're seeing on your screen right now. Let me introduce you to Abu Jafar Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, the father of algebra and the man who gave us the algorithm. But who was this revolutionary mathematician? How did he transform abstract Greek geometry into practical problem-solving tools? And why do computer scientists still worship his methods 1200 years later? Stay until the end, because I'm going to reveal how Al-Khwarizmi's work powers everything from your smartphone's GPS to the algorithms that recommend your next YouTube video. His impact will absolutely shock you. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more incredible stories. Al-Khwarizmi was born around 780 AD in Khwarezm, in present-day Uzbekistan. The region was a crossroads of civilizations where Persian, Arab, Indian, and Greek cultures blended magnificently. His full name, Abu Jafar Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, tells us he was from this remarkable region that produced some of history's greatest minds. But here's where it gets fascinating. Young al-Khwarizmi didn't just absorb one mathematical tradition, he mastered them all. Persian astronomical calculations, Indian numerals, Greek geometric proofs, and Arab algebraic thinking. This multicultural mathematical education would make him unstoppable. Around 820 AD, Al-Khwarizmi moved to Baghdad, the intellectual capital of the world. He joined the legendary House of Wisdom under Caliph al-Mamun, grandson of Harun al-Rashid. Picture this. The most brilliant minds of the age gathered in one place, translating, debating, and innovating. Al-Khwarizmi wasn't just another scholar there. He became the chief mathematician and astronomer. The caliph himself commissioned his most important works. This wasn't just academic prestige. This was imperial recognition of his genius. Now, here's what makes Al-Khwarizmi absolutely revolutionary. He didn't just solve mathematical problems. He created entirely new ways of thinking about them. His masterpiece, Al-Kitab al-Mukhtasar fi Hisab al-Jabr wal-Muqabala, literally means the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing. That Arabic word, al-Jabr, became our English word, algebra. But what exactly did this book do? It transformed mathematics from abstract philosophy into practical problem solving. Before al-Khwarizmi, if you wanted to calculate land areas, divide inheritances, or solve trade problems, you needed complex geometric constructions. Al-Khwarizmi said, forget drawing diagrams, let's use systematic equations. He introduced the world to linear and quadratic equations as we know them today. But here's the genius part. He didn't just give formulas, he explained the logic behind each step. Every solution followed a clear, repeatable process. Sound familiar? That's exactly what we call an algorithm today. The word algorithm itself comes from Al-Khwarizmi. When medieval European scholars translated his works, they called his methods algorithmus after his name. Every time you use GPS navigation, search Google, or even when your phone's camera focuses automatically, you're using algorithmic thinking that traces back to Al-Khwarizmi. But his algebra book was just the beginning. Al-Khwarizmi tackled practical problems that affected everyone's daily life. How do you fairly divide an inheritance among multiple heirs according to Islamic law? How do you calculate the exact direction to Mecca from any location? How do you determine prayer times accurately? His systematic approach solved them all. Take inheritance problems for example. Islamic law requires specific fractions for different family members. Al-Khwarizmi developed algebraic methods to handle these complex calculations when the estate included various assets debts, and multiple beneficiaries. His solutions were so elegant that Islamic courts used them for centuries. In astronomy and geography, Al-Khwarizmi created works that revolutionized navigation and timekeeping. His Zijil Sindind astronomical tables corrected and improved upon Indian and Persian calculations. These tables helped determine prayer times, religious calendar dates, and celestial positions with unprecedented accuracy. But perhaps his most influential geographical work was his revision of Ptolemy's world map. 
Al-Khwarizmi didn't just copy the ancient Greek geographer, he corrected hundreds of errors. He relocated cities, redrew coastlines, and provided accurate latitude and longitude coordinates for over 2400 locations. His world map was the most accurate representation of Earth for over 400 years. European explorers like Columbus used maps ultimately based on Al-Khwarizmi's corrections. Without his geographical work, the age of exploration might never have happened. Now let's talk about his revolutionary number system. Al-Khwarizmi wrote, on the calculation with Hindu numerals, which introduced the Islamic world to the Indian decimal system. But he didn't stop there, he improved it. He explained not just how to write these numbers, but how to perform complex calculations with them. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, even square roots, all became systematic processes anyone could learn. Before this, Europeans used Roman numerals for everything. Imagine trying to multiply MCML Xevaf by DC Sex LV. Al Khwarizmi's decimal system made such calculations childishly simple. When this knowledge reached Europe through Spain, it triggered a mathematical revolution. European merchants abandoned their counting boards and embraced these Arabic numerals. Commerce, science, and engineering all accelerated dramatically. But here's what's truly mind-blowing about Al Khwarizmi. He didn't just work with abstract mathematics. Every single one of his innovations had practical applications. His algebra solved real business problems. His astronomy improved religious observance. His geography enabled better trade routes. This combination of theoretical brilliance and practical utility made his work irresistible to scholars worldwide. By the 12th century, his books were being translated into Latin across Europe. Robert of Chester translated his algebra book in 1145, introducing European scholars to systematic algebraic thinking. Leonardo Fibonacci, the famous mathematician who brought the Fibonacci sequence to Europe, explicitly credited Al Khwarizmi's influence on his work. Universities in Paris, Oxford, and Bologna made Al Khwarizmi's methods central to their mathematics curricula. Students who would become Europe's leading scientists learned to think algebraically using his techniques. The scientific revolution of the Renaissance was built on foundations Al-Khwarizmi had laid centuries earlier. And the influence didn't stop in medieval times. When European scholars began developing calculus in the 17th century, they built upon algebraic thinking Al-Khwarizmi had systematized. When Newton and Leibniz created the mathematical tools that would unlock the secrets of physics, they were extending methods Al-Khwarizmi had pioneered. Fast forward to the 20th century, and Al Khwarizmi's influence becomes even more extraordinary. When computer scientists began developing programming languages, they needed systematic step by step procedures for solving problems. What did they call these procedures? Algorithms, of course. Every app on your phone, every search you perform, every digital transaction you make follows algorithmic thinking that Al Khwarizmi pioneered. Machine learning, artificial intelligence, cryptocurrency all depend on algorithmic processes that trace their intellectual lineage back to 9th century Baghdad. But Al-Khwarizmi's legacy extends beyond pure mathematics and computer science. His approach to problem solving, breaking complex challenges into systematic steps, influenced fields from medicine to engineering to economics. Modern project management techniques use the same logical progression Al-Khwarizmi applied to mathematical problems. The scientific method itself reflects his emphasis on systematic, repeatable procedures that others can verify and build upon. Today, universities worldwide have departments, buildings, and research centers named after Al Khwarizmi. The European Space Agency named an asteroid after him. Programming languages include functions and modules that explicitly honor his contributions. In 2009, UNESCO declared the International Year of Astronomy partly to commemorate Al Khwarizmi's astronomical contributions. But perhaps the most fitting tribute is that his work remains absolutely current. Modern mathematicians still teach algebraic techniques he developed. Computer scientists still use algorithmic thinking he pioneered. Navigators still rely on geographical principles he established. So what can we learn from Al Khwarizmi's incredible life and work? First, interdisciplinary thinking. He didn't just master one field, he connected insights from multiple traditions to create something entirely new. Second, practical application. 
he never let his theoretical brilliance lose touch with real-world problems that affected ordinary people's lives. Third, systematic thinking. Every problem could be broken down into logical steps that others could understand and replicate. Finally, cultural bridge building. Al-Khwarizmi synthesized knowledge from Persian, Indian, Arab, and Greek sources, showing that wisdom has no borders. His openness to learning from every tradition made his own contributions infinitely richer. In our interconnected modern world, Al-Khwarizmi's example is more relevant than ever. He shows us that the greatest innovations come from combining diverse perspectives, that the most powerful ideas are those that solve practical problems, and that systematic thinking can unlock solutions to seemingly impossible challenges. And you? What amazes you most about Al-Khwarizmi? His mathematical innovations? His geographical discoveries? His influence on modern technology? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you loved learning about Al-Khwarizmi, you'll definitely want to check out my video on Al-Kindi that just dropped. And for more stories about the forgotten geniuses who shaped our world, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Coming up next, I'll be exploring another incredible Islamic scholar whose work will absolutely blow your mind. See you in the next adventure through history. Peace be upon you.